backwards here. The Spider B CPU needs to be calibrated and put through the motions. Make sure you're orientated. Let's begin. Right. The visual feed seems to be working. I'll be activating the operational UI for the machine. Spider HUD UI options enabled, Dr. Edwards. Okay. I know some of you were trained in different academies and programs. I want you to take the time to go for the HUD's options. Get it to a familiar standard and make sure everything is tweaked right. In the operation room, we cannot afford mistakes. Okay. System all set up? Let's test movement. Move to the right where the laser pointer indicates. Right where Mr. Pineapple is. Good. Now focus on the pineapple. Zoom in, zoom out, and observe the patient. I'll be moving the laser pointer at different points, and getting the system to highlight each spot. Move to each of them, please. Now that we have observed the patient, they have no visible issues. Mr. Pineapple needs further examination. I want you to scan the point of interest. Sierra, ready scanner. Scanner is active and online, Dr. Edwards. And this is why we're not eating this pineapple. There seems to be something in there. Let's try taking a fluid sample. Utilize the sample tool and collect the sample. Sierra enable fluid sample protocol. Fluid sample collection enabled, Dr. Edwards. Navigate to the points of interest and collect the fluid sample from our fruit friend here. Seems to be healthy, despite the oblong growth inside. The botany lab will need to answer for that at some point. Seems we've seen what there is to be seen. Let's cut it open now, see what true flays inside.
Line yourself up with the green zone. Be careful, that laser is powerful and can burn and boil easily. Seems you botched it. Mr. Pineapple would sue for malpractice provided they lived, and we'd have a real headache. I'd rather we avoid lawsuits. Sierra, end diagnostic mode. Initiate operation procedure. Operation procedure initialized. Refugees picked up from the Hecate 5 mining station brought along the usual tensions of internecine conflict. Pirates had isolated them, and security was leery about the captain's supposedly humanitarian-based decision of bringing them aboard. Odysseus A was still a long way away, and the territory we're to navigate is a treacherous one, fraught with enemies. Sierra, compile patient profile of Zhao Feng. Lucy, could you debrief about the crime scene? Was on my usual patrol route, and noticed that a maintenance door was left open. Fang's leg was keeping the door open. Upon closer inspection, I discovered Fang had signs of struggle, and his neck and face was discolored. Neck had marks on it as well. I secured the area, and called in for backup to get forensics on site. Any fluids or amounted evidence on site? Minimal amounts of blood on the floor. Fang smelled like nicotine. Sierra, status on patient profile compilation. Patient profile on Jia Feng compiled. Sending to crew members. Initiate spider scanning protocol, doctor. Thank you, Sierra. Proceed with spider scanning protocol. Scan initiated. Please stand by. Scan complete. Scans indicate that Zhao Feng suffered a hairline fracture from an impact on his leg. More damage to the leg than thought. Sierra, collect a blood sample, please. Substances found in Fung's bloodstream indicate nicotine, cannabis, and authorized sleeping medications. He's confirmed for contraband substances. He had in his pockets a vapor inhaler with a variety of cartridges for both nicotine, cannabis, and the smoke buddy. Duly noted. Include that information in your report. Of course, sir. Little to no evidence was found on site of the perpetrators. Whoever did this definitely didn't leave too many crumbs behind. Everyone leaves crumbs of some kind. We'll find them. Sierra, initiate autopsy procedure. Autopsy protocol engaged. Operators granted access, Dr. Edwards. Excellent. Let's continue. Begin removal of clothing and let's observe the body. Barristan is on the comm link, Doctor. Would you like to speak to him? Yes, patch him in. He can listen in as we examine. Roger, one moment. You have Xiao Feng in autopsy, Doctor? Yes, beginning examination of the body as we speak. Mm -hmm. 
Scans stipulate the subject's tissue suffered from hypoxia, Dr. Edwards. Hmm. A wire, by the looks of it. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. We have a premeditated murder on our hands. It seems like we have up to two culprits, one or both of them being incredibly strong and brutal. Judging by the injuries while leaving no fingerprints or other identifying evidence, it's as you said, Lance. We're dealing with premeditated murder. <sighs> oh. I'll be declaring martial law across the ship and tightening security measures now that everything is confirmed. Continue with your work, Doctor. Understood. Attention crew members, this is Security Chief Lance Barriston talking. I'm declaring martial law and lockdown across the ship. All non-essential movement will be prohibited. Do not be alarmed, cooperate with authorities, and I repeat, the ship is under martial law. Local security will update the situation. Sierra, status on Zhao Feng's will and obituary? Data not found. Zhao Feng signed TRH's waiver, and no other documents were found. Not surprising given how young he is. Sierra, let's begin the incisions for internal examination. might not be able to be salvaged. A formerly active, healthy heart. The rest of his organs seems like they can be extracted. The machine should be able to do the rest. Sierra, engage organic processing sequence. Engaging organic processing sequence. Stand by, Doctor. Lockdown of the ship by Barristan. Star guards enforce segregation of the ship's crew with an iron fist. Little room to negotiate was had as all refugees became immediate suspects in the eyes of security, who had forced them into makeshift shanties in cargo base 12A through C and some adjacent smaller groupings. Uncertainty prevails the ship as we now have enemies within. 